All right, let's go over all the equipment and raw materials you'll need to make this circle hook chin weight. You'll need some 80 pound fluorocarbon. I like this Seaguar for the actual weed guard itself. Some 40 or 50 for the main line. I like 50 for the bigger drum and catfish. But this, um, this 40 works good. A pair of clippers. Of course, uh, I like a 7 aught, 8 or 9 aught for the bigger ones. But this 7 aught works real well for fish up to say 20, 25 pounds, 30 pounds. I take that back. Actually, the biggest ones I have ever caught were on this one. Had them hooked just fine. And also a pair of split ring pliers. And folks, trust me when I say this. I've had just about every kind of split ring plier that's ever been made. And this by far to me is the best one. Zuron, spelled X-U-R-O-N. It's a great split ring plier. All right. Cut you a piece of fluorocarbon. I already got this one cut here. Turn it backwards so that you're bending this backwards. You're forming your weed guard here. So bite it with your split ring pliers. And fold it so that you make the, the center loop. And also something that I didn't go over. If you'll notice, let me zoom in on this. The eye of these chin weights have got paint in them. So take your split ring pliers and remove all that paint. Do both sides. All right, now that you're at that point, take your 80 pound that you just formed. Fold it in half. You come from the back side forward. Press it up through the back of the eye of the chin weight, like this. That will be your weed guard. Alright, now take your 40 or 50 and press it through the center. So that it's splitting the the leads on it. All right, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna tie, uh, holding it with my left hand, pull you out a piece off the back here. Let me zoom out on that. Pull you a piece out the back, about, say, eight or 10 inches, so that you make your loop to snell, about the size of a baseball. Okay, that's what you got with your tag in here. Now start at the back, zoom back in. And start a snail going from the back forward. So we start right back here. One, two, three, four, five. And that's a gracious plenty four or five would do it and then pull your tag in down so that it just barely cinches it down on the shank of the hook now this is important you don't want to pull it down tight at this time right here <clears throat> and i'll tell you why you want to roll this on the shank of the hook the snell itself so that it pulls this tag into the bottom right here. 
Now just gently, while you're pushing forward, pull a little bit, and then cinch down on the back. <clears throat> there you go. Now make a couple loops <clears throat> and really get down on it. There you go, that cinches it right in place. All right. Now just take your clippers. Clip that. And clip your 80 off nice and close. And then bring these back. Measure it. Just take it barely past the barb of that circle hook and clip them off. So now that's what you got. You can form them, spread them, wherever you need to. And that's what you have. One thing folds that fluorocarbon down real well. And that's the jawbone of a fish. This is the ultimate, ultimate tackle for fishing under a sliding cork or on the drift, just bumping the bottom almost straight up and down. It rides just like this, just bumping the bottom, but protecting the point of that circle hook. Great tackle for fishing a big chunk of bait or a live bait. So check it out. Make some of your own. I didn't, I didn't do the first ones just right. Don't get discouraged. Just keep doing it over and over until you get it down just right.